So these are the Lalo Tactical um, Recon AT, which is a bit of a mouthful, um, but the AT stands for All Terrain. So just I thought I'd give you a very quick video just to walk you through some of their features. Um, if we start from the top, actually, you can probably see that shape-wise, they um, they're very much foot-shaped. So they avoid doing what a lot of running trainers do, which is kind of shape to look cool. Um, and because they're foot shaped, they're much more comfortable. So if you're somebody that suffers from kind of your, your shoes rubbing in this area or this area and you get blisters around your toes, what you'll find with this trail running shoe is that you'll get a much more comfortable foot um, and therefore you're far less likely to get blisters. Um, and then on the back of the shoe here, there's a really good kind of heel locking area for your heel to go into. So your foot doesn't slide around too much, which again is another reason why a lot of people get heels, uh, blisters around their heels. Um, the shoe on the top has got a really nice breathable mesh, you can see up close here, and then there's a kind of rubberized protective area around that mesh. So the shoe itself is very breathable, so it's good to wear in the summer. But also you'll notice, if I go down the sides, it's almost like a submarine, you can see there's these kind of drain holes all the way around the sides on both sides. So what happens is when these get wet, like heavily wet, as in stepping in a stream, the water flows down underneath the insole and just gently drains out the bottom super quick. So one of the great things about these uh, as a shoe, if you're in and out of streams on a particularly wet day, is that they drain very, very quickly, so they dry off quickly, so your feet get dry relatively quickly. Um, the lacing is pretty standard. There's no metal lugs to save weight, so it just goes in and out of this sort of reinforced canvas here. Um, and then, to me, the most interesting bit is the underside. So if you look at the underside here in the grip, um, you can kind of get another feel for the foot shape. So this is, uh, when they say AT, it's all terrain. So the idea of the shoe is that it's good on pavement, um, but that it's reasonably good on trail as well. But I'd actually say it's really, really good on trail. So the idea is that a lot of us like me will run uh, we'll run on pavements and stuff to get to trails, and we'll run on pavements in between. So this shoe gives you a nice all-rounder. So these lots of little, very small little hexagons are super sticky. I'm not entirely sure what they're made of, but they've got really good grip. But what surprises me the most about this uh, shoe is that it is hard and soft at the same time, if that makes any sense at all. So they talk about a dual density bottom. And what they're talking about here is that the shoe is actually relatively stiff along the whole area of it. So if I push here, it's particularly hard and stiff, which is actually great because if, like I, I do, running in New England, you're running on rocks quite a lot of the time your foot can get quite pounding if you don't have some kind of rock plate underneath just to protect those kind of bits of the rocks coming in at you. So this shoe is nice and stiff across the whole area so that it's very resistant to rocks giving your foot a battering. But it also has a lot of cushioning in the second part of the dual density so it's also very squishy. So it gives you the cushioning that you want but without the cushioning allowing rocks to come through and hammer your feet if that makes any sense. So if you do run in an area that's quite rocky like I do in New England, you'll kind of appreciate the fact that it's giving you a soft ride but it's not letting the rocks through to hammer your feet. Um, so there you go, I mean that's basically a really good look through. Um, I actually really like them, uh, really really pleased with them. So uh, great in streams, great on wet weather when they can dry out nice and quickly. Nice big wide stable shoe which for all of us with quote unquote normal width feet means that we don't get blisters around our toes. Um, and a good grip in all conditions. And I'd say from a cushioning point of view, I would probably rate these as good up to kind of marathon distance on a trail um, or on a road even, but I probably wouldn't use these for more than 25 miles. Um, I'd probably want something a bit more cushioned beyond that, but up to that and for training runs, an absolutely cracking shoe. So that's the Lalo Tactical uh, and this is the Recon AT.